got to get rid of this. I'm playing with um, Facebook's little fun things. There I am. I kept wanting to adjust my sunglasses. It's so weird. Anyway, happy Friday. It is week eight, day five, which is overall day 40 of WFH, working from home pandemic style. Happy Poets Day. Um, I always think that stands for Piss on Everything Tomorrow Saturday. Uh, for the Brits or the Australians, I recently learned it stands for Piss Off Early Tomorrow Saturday. But piss off, piss on, you know, whatever. Uh, wax on, wax off. Tomorrow Saturday. But since I'm always making the uh, bad little joke uh, about and always I'm always entertained by it, uh, I could hide my own Easter eggs and be entertained. Uh, but since uh, I'm always talking about Poets Day, I thought that why not have some poetry on Poets Day? So today I am going to regale you with some of my favorites. And wouldn't you know that the two that I can actually remember, um, they're both very short, they're by the same poet, um, and they're about insects. Uh, they are both by Ogden Nash. And the first one is, God in his wisdom made the fly and then forgot to tell us why. Please hold the applause. Um, the other one is about termites. And this one is, uh, also by Ogden Nash. Some primal termite knocked on wood and tasted it and found it good. And that is the reason why, and that is why your cousin May fell through the parlor floor today. God, I can't even get the lyrics or the, the, the sound of the, the uh, words of the short ones right. Be that as it may, you get the idea. Um, and then I have one that I wrote myself. I know, I know. Uh, be afraid. Be very afraid. So this one uh, I wrote in 1995, and it's called Ode to Amazon. And I might remind you that in 1995, Amazon was still just an online bookstore. It sold books nothing but books. And they'd been in business for a while and people kept bemoaning the fact that it was not profitable. It had never been profitable. What the hell was wrong with Jeff Bezos? Didn't he know it was never going to be profitable? Yeah, poor Jeff Bezos just never quite got his footing, did he? So anyway, here is my 1995 um, ode to Amazon. And hi, Becky Robinson. I'm so glad you did make it back. So, and as you can tell, I haven't, well, I can't even memorize Ogden's Nash, Nash Very Short Termite Ditty, so um, I can't memorize my ode to Amazon. I've got to read it, so. Oh, Amazon, my Amazon, how can you labor dawn to dawn? Take service to an all-new height? Send orders with the speed of light. Politely email, all is right. How do you do this, Amazon? Oh, Amazon, my Amazon, don't joke that just because I'm blonde, I must be slow in word and deed. I cue so low, I should never breed. Hey, sure, I'm cute, but I can read. Just check my orders, Amazon. Oh, Amazon, my Amazon, I do adore you at dot com. My friends inquire, what is the deal? Some great new guy with sex appeal? Fantastic drugs that make you squeal? I smile and say, it's Amazon. Oh, Amazon, my Amazon. It's not a drug that I am on. I'm high on all the books I see. Selections you picked just for me. A bibliaholic shopping spree. The world's best mall is Amazon. 
Oh, Amazon, my Amazon, to others' books, I am not drawn. A barn for nobles, I think not. Buy books the same place horses trot. Forsake you for creeps, time forgot. Not on your life, friend Amazon. Oh, Amazon, my Amazon, a little sadness starts to dawn. Surrounded by these gifts you sell, they cannot weave their magic spell. No time to read, oh damn to hell. Pardon my French, fair Amazon. Oh, Amazon, my Amazon, I've now advanced to pale and wan. I wear depression like a dress. Today with mail to this address, my statement came from American Express. Alone till Friday, Amazon? Oh, Amazon, my Amazon. I see it's cash that forms our bond. It's turned me to a common debtor. How will I ever break this fetter to make me feel a little better? Boot up and surf at Amazon. The end. Aren't you glad? Um, and keep in mind, that was 20 five years ago. So uh, I guess the sequel to that would be um, Ode to a 25-Year Addiction. And um, another favorite that's a little, uh, that's not rhymey, and uh, the last two, I promise, are not rhymey and um, have a little more substance. So Fire and Ice by America's poet Robert Frost. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice. I guess it is a little rhymy, it's just not, it's not sing-songy. And for our final selection today, I just love this one so much. I just think it's so fun. Um, and it's for um, us old broads, or uh, that's how I like to think of it. Maybe you young broads and, and uh, younger and older gentlemen will enjoy it too. Uh, but anyway, it's called One Reason I Like Opera, and it's by Marge Percy from Colors Passing Through Us. In movies, you can tell the heroine because she is blonder and thinner than her sidekick. The villainess is darkest. If a woman is fat, she is a joke and will probably die. In movies, the blondest are the best, and in bleaching lies not only purity, but victory. If two people are both extra pretty, they will end up in that final clinch. Only the flawless in face and body win. That is why I treat movies as less interesting than comic books. The camera is stupid. It sucks surfaces. Let's go to the opera instead. The heroine is 50 and weighs as much as a 65 Chevy with fins. She could crack your jaw in her fist. She can hit high C lying down. The tenor the women scream for wolfs down an eight-course meal daily. He resembles a bull on hind legs. His thighs are the size of beer kegs. His chest is a redwood with hair. Their voices twine golden serpents. Their voices rise like the best fireworks and hang and hang, then drift slowly down, descending in brilliant and still fiery sparks. The hippopotamus baritone, the villain, has a voice that could give you an orgasm right in your seat. His voice smokes with passion. He is hot as lava. He erupts nightly. The contralto, the con the contralto is, however, svelte. She is supposed to be the soprano's mother, but is 10 years younger, beautiful and black. Nobody cares. She sings you into her, into her womb where you rock. What you see is work like digging a ditch, hard physical labor. What you hear is magic, 
as tricky as knife throwing, what you see is strength like any great athlete. What you hear is still rendered precisely as the best Swiss watchmaker. The body is resonance. The body is the cello case. The body just is. The voice loud as hunger remagnetizes your bones. And that is one reason I like opera by Marge Percy. I'm not particularly an opera fan, but I do love that poem. So that is the poetry for Poets Day. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I hope to see you on Monday. Thank you so much for being here. And here's to the end of a great week. Netflix, Hulu, HBO, Bachelor, and Game of Thrones. Conan, Ellen, QVC. Eat the cover of a magazine. Churn, butter, needle, point. Pick your nose and smoke a joint. Wrap your head up like a nun. Pornhub masturbation. We love fortune, Oprah's own. The greatest British baking show. Modern Family, Shark Tank 2. Grace and Frankie, we love you. Fixer, Upper, Will and Grace. Deepak Chopra, Meditate. Don't go out there, let's sit to it. Couch potato, there's nothing to it. Stay, Stay home. home. I like the opera too, Becky. Well, I'm not a big fan, but um, anyway, take care. Bye-bye.